Hey, 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 Scorpio. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, uh, March 19th to the 20th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. You may notice two orbs that are around me. Uh, that is Eric and Lars, if you're wondering. All right, so two more. Page of Cups. I'm going to get one more and then I'm going to get a message from the universe to you from the angels. Okay. This is the Knight of Swords. Okay. Scorpio. Take the efforts needed to make your dreams a reality. Scorpio. Keep pushing forward. Don't stop. Okay. They're wanting you to know that although they're saying keep pushing forward. It's not a marathon. Okay. So they're just wanting you to focus on moving one step at a time. The speed is not important. Okay. <sighs> Sensitivity is needed in the area of love. I just asked about love. So, and I'm feeling that this is like in conversation, just be sensitive to the needs of others, um, empathetic. Okay. All right. What's going on here, Scorpio? There's an opportunity at love here for you with somebody who is younger, Scorpio. The universe is handing this to you and it's coming in pretty quick with the two of cups. This is a soulmate twin flame bond. Tell me about the ace of pentacles here. Ah, ten of wands. This is going to burden you some Scorpio because for some of you, I feel that you already are in a relationship and this um, comes out of nowhere as the knight of wand, uh, the knight of swords usually does. Yeah. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the World card. Okay, it could be while you're traveling, or you may have already met this person while you were traveling, okay? It could have also been through work. But you're protecting yourself because you haven't made a decision yet as to what to do with this offer. Oops. Yeah, you're very, you're very tempted by it with the devil card here, Scorpio. This is a card of Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. This is telling me that you're very, very tempted by this offer. You are very sexually attracted to them. Okay. The King of Swords. Libra energy. It's usually always Libra for me as a reader. The King of Swords is very fair, but very stern as well. Very decisive. Okay. And I feel that this is the other person, the person that, um, not the devil person, the person that you're with possibly. Clarify this King of Swords. Let me just make sure that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, Nine of Swords. So this is keeping you up at night. Anxiety, fear. 
So tell me about this page of cups. What actions are they going to take? I feel like they're taking action. Eight of swords. Well, I feel like they were up in their head about you, Scorpio. But they're, if they're not already out of this mental imprisonment that they've got themselves caught in, they will be soon. And this is when they're going to be off on their horse coming for you. So tell me about the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Six of Swords. They're on a journey. I feel that like this person is at a distance from you. You've got two distance cards here. Tell me about when they arrive. I don't know if they'll be journeying right now, but unless they're driving. The Star card. Healing and a wish. This could be an Aquarius, or they could have Aquarius in their chart. Distance card again, the Three of Wands. And here we have Capricorn again with the Queen of Pentacles. They're wanting to build something with you, Scorpio. And they are going to keep coming until they get a firm answer. Because they know that you are attracted to them. They know that you just want to run to them. What is this person's intention? Let me find out this person's intention. I feel that this person is very stable as far as their money is concerned. Page of Wands. Yeah. Um, passion, excitement, adventure. And the Ace of Cups. Their intention is to love you. Is to show you love. To give you and offer you an abundance of love. And to show you adventure. Take you on adventures. Get you excited. In more ways than one. Okay. All right. So what is your, um, what are you thinking regarding this person besides anxious? Like, what are you thinking? What are you to do, Scorpio? What's going through your head? Yeah. Queen of Wands. This is that passion. This, this is that sexual uh, excitement between the both of you. The Four of Swords. You're peacing out for a moment to think about this. You really have to go, go into prayer mode, into meditative mode in order to come up with your decision. This Queen of Wands, though, acts when she knows what she wants. She goes and she acts. She is the temptress of the debt. She is. OK, wait a minute. I feel you've already have you've already had sexual contact with this individual. So either this is a person from the past that's coming back around again or it this happened while you were traveling possibly. Okay. So what is your um, advice for Scorpio? Eight of Cups. You got to walk away from one of them. You have to. And then take a leap of faith. Take a chance. Take a chance. And I'm feeling this new relationship has a lot of vitality in it. A lot of energy. Temperance. Be patient. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. This is a 14, also reducing to a 5. And 5s are all about change, Scorpio. So embrace this change. Okay, take this on. Know that adventure is waiting for you. Yeah, here's your card. Death card, Scorpio. Rising from the ashes. Transformation. But you got to let go of something. Four of Pentacles. You have to let go of something because you're blocking off a lot of energy with that card. King of Cups. Once you let go of something, of somebody, your heart is going to open up. Your in intuition will be getting online. And you'll be able to receive many, many, many more blessings from the universe. Okay, one more card. Yeah, three of Swords. Okay, they're saying know that somebody's heart is going to be broken, but you have to make this decision. 
okay? And they're wanting to make sure that you heal as well. So don't go from one relationship to another without healing, okay? Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Whatever decision that you make, trust in it and commit to it, okay? You could also have a spiritual connection with this individual. Another five here. So expect the unexpected, Scorpio, with these fives. All right, Scorpio, I hope you resonated with this. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Have yourself a fantastic day. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you instead of generalized, the information is in the description box below. Have yourself a good one, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.